are here getting some groceries. It's Sunday afternoon and I usually get pickup, but tomorrow all the kids are home from school and I was like, I just wanna go ahead and knock it out today. So I got a list, I'm definitely a paper and pen person. Got my list and so we're gonna go in just our, if you can see it, local neighborhood market and get some groceries and then I'll show you what you got and I'll tell you what we're gonna make with it. See you in a bit. groceries unloaded and it ended up being $172.91 since you can see it was quite a bit my receipts aren't usually this long but I had quite a bit to buy um this should last us a week and it was a few meals too so we'll just kind of go through um I made a recipe the other day that used all the butter so this was just a refill and this was not on my list, but I use, I always keep one of these handy because it's just a good thing to have in the pantry and it's a brand that we love. This was on sale, so again, not on the list, but I just like to have that like look just so much better than regular pasta. Um, the kids are off of school for a couple days, so I always stock up on special snacks for that, so that's what that is. We love the mini bags of popcorn so that popcorn doesn't go to waste. Um, usually I just buy a big thing of Greek yogurt, but the flavors were getting me. So I got a vanilla, a tiramisu, that just sounded like a good, like if I was craving a dessert, and a lemon. I love lemon things. And then... Bridget got a cookies and cream clip. It has like the yogurt one section and then the little um, bits in the other section and then a cookie dough. That sounds so good. This is all kind of stuff that like sesame seed or sesame oil um, I needed for a recipe. This I needed for a recipe. This actually was supposed to be something else, but I couldn't find it. So I substituted that. So we'll see how that goes. It's out of salt. So all these little things, you know, kind of add up. That like I won't have to buy like this next time I need it, you know. Artichoke hearts for a recipe. Parmesan cheese, feta cheese. We're doing kind of like a Greek night. So those are. And got some rice. Always like jasmine rice. Not brand kind of changes. Got some we needed. We're out of like breakfast stuff for a quick easy school base. And so got these. They like to just put honey on them. And then these are a quick option as well. Good little extra little snack to put in a lunchbox or have at home. This is for the Greek night as well. I love True Fru, and they were out of the strawberry and the raspberries. What I usually buy, don't super love peanut butter, but oh well, this will be a good little dessert. And then this brand, I haven't ever had this, so I don't know if it's good or not. I'll check back. But, you know, I love that brand. And so when I saw the pizza, I was like, hey, I'll try it. We'll see. Um, I don't usually buy milk, but I snagged this one because I did buy cereal the other day and didn't have any milk. So, um, And then there are some, like, random things that I need milk for. Some half and half for a recipe as well. And then all the meat. So I needed a pork loin and again I'll kind of tell you what I'm going to make. Um, I needed some ground beef. I got the extra lean, the lean ground turkey, and then there's some chicken thighs. These are, this is for the Greek meal and some chicken breast. Um, those will both be cooked. I'll have lots of leftovers with all these meals to eat lunches and whatnot. And then over here is the produce and the kids get to pick one bag of chips out a day and so restocking on that and we got seeing carrots some berries um i'm gonna make some immune boosting shots and i need one more lemon i already had the oranges and the other lemon so i need one more lemon this is all bell pepper and this bell pepper is probably just to eat this is for a recipe Got two cucumbers, one to eat, one for a recipe. Two onions for different recipes, Brussels sprouts for a recipe, and the kale. So let's sit down and talk about what we're gonna make. 
Okay, and what we're gonna make, I like to, like I said, I'm a pen and paper kind of person, so I wrote it down, and I have four meals. I had a sheet pan Greek chicken, so that was like the chicken breast, and the Brussels sprouts, and the artichoke hearts, and, and like the tzatziki sauce, and everything will go with that, and it'll be an easy throw in the oven weekday meal. The pork loin is for a recipe, and I couldn't find the exact sauce that was supposed to go on it, so that's what I substituted the avocado lime sauce with, and that is going to go into a crock pot meal um, for a day that we're gonna be out later, and we'll just make some of that rice with it. And um, then I have a stir fry with the beef, so that'll actually be like the ground beef, and the, what else was, oh, like the, we'll put some ramen noodle in it, but like not like the whole pack, but the noodle part, and then load it up with like the carrots and some green onion and some cucumber and stuff like that. And then my last meal, I think this is like an Olive Garden copycat recipe. I'm not big on Olive Garden, so I don't know. I just put Zupa soup when I wrote down and I have to look at what the actual recipe is but I remember it saying Olive Garden copycat on there but that had like the turkey and that's what the half and half is for and some potatoes and the kale was for that as well so I usually plan about four meals per week then we have some room for leftovers and we usually always eat out once or twice a week and that's we're running but that's all it for this week and i'll have to grocery shop again next week so i will see you guys then hope you have a great week and let me know what you're cooking